Hello dear friends, welcome to Dental Education Hub YouTube channel. Today we are going to study a very important topic that is glass inomer cements. So what we are going to discuss in this video lecture. Uh, in this video lecture, we are going to study the historical background of the glass inomer cement, the dispensing and composition of the glass inomer cement, the setting reaction of the cement, the properties of the glass ionomer cement, the clinical applications, and at the end, we will discuss the types and modifications of the glass ionomer dental cements. So watch this lecture till the end. So the glass ionomer cement is available since the early 1970s, and it, it is still in use since the last 50 years. So it is one of the oldest and the popular dental cement. The glass inomer cements, they are derived from the silicate cement and polycarboxylate cement. So the powder of the silicate cement, which is the unleachable glass, and the liquid of the polycarboxylate cement, it produces a new cement that is called as glass inomer cement. Now the dispensing, like in which form the glass inomer cement, it is available. So the glass inomer cement, it is available as powder and liquid bottles. Nowadays, the glass inomer cements, are, they are available and they are used in the encapsulated form. And the encapsulated forms, they are easier in mixing because the mixing is clean, quick and according to a proportion. Now the composition of the glass inomer cement. The powder, it mainly comprises of sodium aluminosilicate glass. In addition to the sodium aluminosilicate glass, there is 20% calcium fluoride and other minor additives as well. The liquid, it comprises of aqueous solution of polyacrylic acid or aqueous solution of malic acid. In addition to this acid, it also comprises of tartaric acid and the tartaric acid is there to control the setting reaction of the cement. Now the setting reaction of the glass ionomer cement. The sodium aluminosilicate glass, which is the main ingredient of the powder, it reacts with the, it reacts with the aqueous solution of the polyacrylic acid and it forms cross-linked polyalkanoic salt. The set material must be protected from the moisture uh, by using a water resistant coating such as Vaseline because otherwise the properties they will be of the cement they will be disturbed. The set material it releases fluoride into the surrounding environment and it also absorbs fluoride when the fluoride concentration is high in the surrounding environment. So there is a recharge mechanism in the glass inomer dental cement. So what are the properties of the glass inomer cement? So the glass inomer cement, it forms a chemical bond uh, with the tooth structure, whether it is enamel or dentine. Glass inomer is a static material, so it offers a reasonable match uh, uh, with, the, with the natural tooth structure. The material, it has acceptable biocompatibility because the polyacrylic acid, which is the liquid of this cement, is a weak acid. The thermal diffusibility value of the cement is closer to that of dentine. The fluoride ions, they are released by the cement and the fluoride ions, they replace hydroxyl groups in the appetite structure and make the appetite structure more resistant to acid attack in case of dental caries. At the same time, the fluoride, there's a recharge mechanism uh, and the fluoride ions, they are incorporated back into the cement when the surrounding environment of the oral cavity, it is rich in fluoride, for example, after tooth brushing. So what are the clinical applications or what are the uses of the glass inomer cement? It is used to restore class three and class five cavities. 
because glass enamel is a brittle material so it is not used for the restoration of the incisal edge or similar restorations it is used for atraumatic restorative treatment it is used for the filling of uh, deciduous teeth this cement is used beneath either a composite resin or an amalgam restoration the cement it is used for cementation of crown and bridges and it is used during orthodontic treatment for the attachment of molar bands so what are the types of the glass ionomer cement the glass ionomer cement there are basically three types based on the applications of the cement the type 1 is the luting cement and it is used for luting crowns bridges and orthodontic bands the type 2 cement is a restorative cement and that is used for aesthetic restorative uh, cements and reinforced restorative cements and type 3 A cement it is used for lining and base applications there are some modifications in the glass ionomer cements for example ceramics which is a metal reinforced glass ionomer cement in which the metal particles there are added and the second popular modification is a resin modified glass ionomer cement we will discuss these modifications in our upcoming lectures Thank you very much for watching this lecture. Uh, do give us your feedback in the comments. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Thank you very much for watching this video and stay blessed.